All right, everyone, today is the final installment in what was probably our biggest dollar day haul. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles. I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife, Angelique. Um, links to all that will be down below. Now, um, we did a pretty sizable Goodwill Dollar Day haul. Um, I've, it's probably the biggest Dollar Day haul we've ever done. Um, I've gone through most of the clothes, although there are some clothes that I set aside for a little special project that I got coming up. Um, so, if you, um, if you watch keep an eye on my channel. Um, it'll be up uh, probably next week. Um, I think that's the next thing I got in my queue. All right. So as I said in the last video, we have nothing but shoes left. So we're going to look at some shoes today. And up first, we have a pair of Lauren Conrad um, boots. Um, boots with heels. Um, they are size. They are size nine and a half, made in China, man-made upper. Lining is textile, leather, and man-made. Um, stock, stock link textile. Outer sole, man-made. Um, so um, you can see on the bottom, and if you'll remember from the last video, uh, blue was the color of the day, so these shoes, despite what that tag says, um, they were only a dollar. And they did come up too, so I just didn't bring this one up. Uh, normally I do. Um, but they're actually in really good condition. It is disappointing that they're not real leather, um, but uh, they do have some leather in them, um, so they should... So we'll definitely make sure to uh, list those. Okay. Huh. That, uh... I f For a minute there, I forgot what we do with shoes. We list them in our Poshmark closet. And we're going to list these in our Poshmark closet. Uh, now these are a pair of Nine West um, flats. Um, now they... That is a yellow tag, so that means we did pay full price for these. Um, and I'm assuming that's because we did recently sell, I think, a, two pairs of Nine West. So Nine West has actually been doing pretty good for us as of late. Although those shoes that we sold have been in the closet for a while, so maybe it's just a fluke. Anyway, these are 12Ms, um, men... Uh, textile, man-made upper, man-made lining, balance, man-made, made in China. So pretty much everything on this shoe was made by a man. Um, made by a man in China. All right. Um, I'm not seeing any damage, just the typical uh, scuffing on the bottom, but nothing that should... Um, Nothing that should deter a potential buyer. All right. I will save those for last. Um, up next, we have a pair of... Oh, oh, here we go. Had a little trouble finding the other one. Up next, we have a pair of Hailston um, heels. So as you can see right there, big H for Hailston, um, and they are, I, I do not see a size or materials anywhere on these. So we will have to, so we will have to list them. The sticker on the bottom says made in China, but it does not have a size. So we're going to have to measure them before we can list them, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um, we've measured plenty of shoes here. Um, hmm. Uh-oh. That... Ugh! That 
look a little uh, this is something we've run into before where we buy a pair of shoes it's something we really need to start checking um, these look like they might be two different sizes although it could just be that one of them is a bit more pushed in than the other um, I don't know we'll have to we'll definitely have to check that before we list them um, and they were full price so that would be really disappointing if they are in fact two different size shoes but um, you know that's that's heat of the moment dollar day shopping all right up next we have a pair of Vince Komotos now the Vince Komotos have actually um, I think we sold two pairs of these recently. Um, this this pair looks familiar. I think we have another pair that is very very similar to these. Um, anyway, these were six dollars, um, but that is a pink tag, so they were only three dollars. Um, they They do not have a size anywhere on them, but they do appear to be the same size. And they're flats, so they should be really easy to measure. Um, I'm not seeing any problems in the heel, which is typically where you see the wear on these style of shoes, because people just tend to use these as slip-ons, and they just compress the heel. Or maybe I just do that. Um, I know that my all my shoes have slowly morphed into mules. All right, up next we have um, oh, a pair of shoes that um, we're not actually selling. Uh, we bought these uh, we bought these cute shoes just uh, to give my daughter something she can wear around um, in the rain come spring. Um, they have little cat ears on them, or maybe those are bunny ears. There's some kind of ears, um, but those are, <laughs> those are not to go up. Um, see all right the final pair of shoes definitely the find of the day blue tag so they were a dollar they are boots of some brand um, I actually don't know that we found a brand on these but we got them for the style um, Boots have been doing pretty well for us. Uh, we, they sell for, they resell really well, and they, um, they're reselling pretty frequently. Um, I know I did a boot a boot haul a couple of a uh, couple of weeks ago, and I think we have maybe two pairs of boots from that haul left. Um, I'd have to go back and see what we. What I actually had in that haul, um, but boots have been really going well for us. Now these boots in particular are size 10. They are all man-made materials and they are made in China. So, um, and I just, I don't see a brand. There might be one way down in there, but um, I do not have a flashlight or a periscope or a, one of those colon cameras or anything of the sort to actually look down there so um, we will have to uh, investigate further but they're in really good condition so I don't know that people are really going to care about the brand um, when they see these all right that brings us to the end of the haul um, now like I said there is more stuff from this haul but that has been set aside for the next video and <laughs> You know what? It's the next video, so I'm going to stop teasing it. Um, gonna, well, I guess a little tease, because uh, I'm not going to just like throw it at the end of this one. That would be ridiculous. Um, the next video is a thread up unboxing, but we also went out and thrifted the same items, or the same type of items. Um, so we have... I, think 16 I think it was 16 pounds 
Um, so 16 pounds of jeans, and we got just 16 jeans because jeans are about a pound each. Um, so we did thrifting versus thread up. Store versus box. Box versus store. I don't know. I'm working on the title. Um, anyway, that video will be up next. And um, seeing as this is the first video of the new year, um, I may as well take some time to do some uh, reseller resolutions. Um, I didn't really write anything down. I just kind of thought of these in my head. Um, but first of all, um, with, the, with the YouTube, um, I would like to continue to get two videos out a day. Uh, but by the end of the year, eventually work my two videos a day. That's not right. Two videos a week. But by the end of the year, work my way up to three videos a week, and one of those videos being a what sold video. Um, I would like to have a have a single month where we break. Let's go with uh, three thousand. I would also like to have a single month where we outsell a very particular reseller. Now, this particular reseller is not on YouTube. He's not on Poshmark. He's not on any um, social media, uh, but he doesn't even do clothes, but he's a personal, um, someone, someone who uh, I am very close with, uh, someone who um, really influenced me a lot in my life, and someone who does some reselling. I would, I would like to outsell him one month just, <laughs> just to really just rub it in his face because um, nothing, nothing Nothing brings families closer together at the holidays than uh, having a son really, really just brag to his dad. Um, so, with that, um, oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to say who who it was. Well, oh well, cat's out of the bag. Um, can't just not upload the video. Has to go out. Uh, keep keep grinding that wheel. Anyway. If you liked this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, you're going to see this video will be the last video on the 2019 playlist, even though it's probably going to end up going out the second day of 2020. Um, you know, I'll just consider, since the week started, I'll breaking it down by week. And... <laughs> oh, this, this, this haul is really really turned my brain to mush. Um, so, like, share, subscribe, um, leave comments down below, you know the drill. Um, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you later. quite a hole. Uh, you kind of saw my little little dance I do um, when I leave room for the credits. Um, anyway, click the boxes for more videos. Um, this will be the last one that I put the 2019 playlist on, so um, after this, you're going to have to go to other videos to find out what I'm doing. Alright, see ya!